What is up guys, it is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Brawl Stars episode. We had big changes while I was in the air flying to Helsinki. We are here now, as you can see by the backdrop in my hotel room. It's the tiniest hotel room ever. Feel claustrophobic. But anyways, we're here. We're gonna be interviewing the developers for Brawl Stars tomorrow. Make sure you guys leave me your comments in the, in the comments, obviously, uh, and ask me what you guys think should be changed about the game, should be added to the game, what you do like about the game, what you don't like about the game, what you want to know about the game. Ask me all the things. Put them in the comments below, guys. I'll pick the best ones and ask them of the developers. Uh, make sure you do that. But five days ago, we had a balance update. I covered it on the channel. Some really, really exciting stuff came out. We just had another balance update. We're going to go over that in this episode, guys. Only five days ago, we had one, and here it is again. Big props to the developers for putting something out super fast and giving us more stuff that we've been asking for. I'm going to cover that right now. All right, so long story short, guys, they put too much... Uh, weight on the actual win rates of all the brawlers. They weren't listening to community feedback in the past, uh, nor were they really looking at usage rates of all the brawlers in order to influence their decisions with tweaking and balancing. That has changed. They've started to imp imp uh, input more uh, of our feedback into their decision-making process, which, of course, I think we can all agree is awesome, as well as which brawlers are being used most, which aren't, and that also has factored in not just which ones are winning the most. So, that all being said, character balance, dun -da 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 -da. several things that many people have been asking for, crying for, pleading for, have happened. Finally, Shelly just got nerfed, guys. A pretty big nerf at that. She was simply too good all around in every game mode, every situation. Shelly could do it all. The developers recognized that. They made some tweaks. They are as follows. Reload time is increased to 1.5 seconds, up from one and a quarter second. That is a whole quarter second between each reload now that it's a little bit slower. Definitely going to impact Shelly's, uh, you know, pressure that she can put out. Main attack tile, uh, oh my god, 666, six, six, really guys, you know 6 and 2 thirds is 6.67 if you round, you had to slip that one in there. Anyways, main attack decreased to 6.66 tiles from 7.66 tiles. Um, that is big deal because that's a whole tile that her range has been decreased. That is going to be massive when it comes to exchanging uh, fire in team fights, as well as like what's a safe buffer distance between her and her opponent. Lastly, her main attack shells are spread further apart, which means at range, less of them will land on an opponent, so they will hurt a little bit less for the uh, people that are much farther away from Shelly. That way she can't sit and poke at a distance and do substantial damage. All those changes factored in, I think that's great for the game. You're gonna see something other than just Shelly in every game mode, uh, especially Showdown. Hopefully we'll see some of the other brawlers. Let's talk about some of the other changes as well. Piper, that is another one that people wanted to see toned down. She was simply too strong, she hit too hard. Those things have been addressed. Her da damage has been decreased to 440 from 460 per shot. Now, that, of course, that increases um, the farther you are away from the target. That kind of scales up. The closer you are, it scales down. So um, that you know that just depends on how far you are, uh, how far away you are, how hard you hit. Uh, lastly, though, super damage was decreased a lot. 200 per grenade is the new damage amount instead of 300 per grenade. That is a uh, one-third less damage now. That just makes it really, really nice because before she was essentially nuking people when she was escaping, she already has the best range, you know, one of the best ranges in the game. She hits the hardest. She can escape. She can nuke people when she escapes. She could do too much, and it was a little bit out of hand. So the super damage decreased. I think that's perfect. So Jessie, she received kind of an inexplicable 12.5% uh, attack I can't remember if it was range. Um, she she got nerfed last time, and I don't I don't understand it because she wasn't really heavily used. She wasn't all that strong. Um, she was average, but there was no I I couldn't figure out why she was nerfed. Well, they listened to the feedback. Um, people couldn't figure out why she was nerfed, and guess what? She just got buffed, which I think was probably the right way to go. Jessie's a fantastic character, and I love her mechanics. This is going to really amp up her ability to control a map. Now, her super rate of fire has improved. Scrappy now fires a whole tenth of a second faster per shot, 
and the bullet speed, which means the, the speed the bullet travels to its target is 33% faster. That's essentially gonna be like a machine gun firing out of that turret now. It's gonna be way harder to dodge it and get away. Jessie's gonna be a monster. They've also increased her actual damage from her main attack orb from 140 to 160. So she's gonna be a beast. Crow, that's one that not a lot of people have just because it's a legendary, but everybody that does have it agrees, I think, that he's a little bit too weak and you know we would like to see more finishing power on that character because all you can really do is load up the opponent with damage over time and poison them and since it doesn't stack it never really you know amps up enough to kill them uh, so what they've done is decrease the poison damage by about 11 percent taking it down to 80 from 90 and they've also buffed his main attack by 33 percent so each uh arrow or knife that lands now is from 60 to 80. So that could be a lot more hard hitting, especially when those opponents get low or if uh, Crow is in close range. Um, those knives for direct damage, it, it affected both his main attack and his super attack. So Crow's gonna be much, much stronger. Dynamite and Barley, both are kind of in the same category. They've buffed the speed uh, at which their attacks go out. So um, both of them, you know, they, when they throw their projectiles or their, their whiskey or their dynamite, whatever, um, it gets to the target faster. And in both cases, it does more damage. So Dynamite is just monstrous now. 540 damage per super, uh, up to 180 on the main attack from 160. And uh, Barley is up to 140 per tick from 120. And his uh, main attack bottles fly 16% faster. Super bottles fly 8% faster. So much harder to get away from those two characters. Look to see them used heavily um, on the showdown maps as well as, you know, obviously Heist. And you, you might even see him in Smash and Grab and Bounty. We'll have to see. Bow. Big change to Bow. Reload time decreased to 1.7 seconds. That is huge because he simply couldn't put out enough pressure to control areas of the map before. And you could put out enough pressure and dodge his shots because he fires in not a straight line. He kind of has three that fan out. So most of the time, if you know how to strafe and get away from those shots, all three of them aren't going to land on you. So it was very easy to push Bow off of you know a position. This should help that because he's going to be able to shoot much, much faster. Faster. Cole also got a buff. He had a range increase, so he's up two thirds of a tile to 10.66 now, and his main attack bullets fly 9% faster. That's huge because Ricochet simply overshadowed him after the recent buff five days ago. Ricochet was a monster. You guys saw me playing him in that last video. He is really, really good now, and Colt simply wasn't keeping up, so they decided to give him some love. Not a bad call on that uh, you know, particular scenario, but you know, at the same time, um, Colt and Ricochet are very similar characters, and it's not super impactful one way or the other, but for those Colt players out there, I'm sure they'll love the change. Lastly, Bull, his reload speed was increased to 1.6 seconds, which slows him down a little bit. The whole purpose here was just to keep him in line with being slower than Shelly. Since Shelly got nerfed so hard, Bull got a little bit of a nerf so he stayed slower, um, even though he didn't do anything to deserve it. But they wanted to keep those shotgun characters aligned, um, and the way they had to do that was by nerfing uh, Bull as well. So game mode, showdown, power up box damage boost to 10% from 15. I thought it was a little bit too strong, and uh, should make the end game fights last a little bit longer instead of just somebody going and getting all the power ups and steam rolling through. Let's go play some games, guys. We got Shooting Star. First character I'm gonna play. I've been having Wi-Fi issues, I've been having internet issues, perks of being in Europe and not a you know not on your home network. Um, hotel Wi-Fi here is garbage, so unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we're making do. We're gonna try to get this video out. Um, I may add, guys, while we're waiting for a match here, make sure you guys leave in the comments what you would like to know of the developers. I'd love to try to relay the, uh, you know, your thoughts to them as much as I possibly can and ask what the community wants to hear. So let's go ahead and play. We've got Jesse, we've got Piper and Bull. So all three of these characters on my squad have had changes and I am going to get wrecked here. I just know it. Um, I am just gonna try to get, oh yes, oh yes. Okay, so I'm in a world of hurt because all of these guys outrange me and they all out damage me like indirect damage. Um, all I want is to get the turret. Unfortunately, we don't really have any good maps um, for Jesse. All okay, so there we go. So all I want is to get her super because once I get her super down, I can go play a little bit of area control. This actually kind of sucks. I wish there were some better uh, maps at play here so I could showcase Jesse a little bit better. But this is just not 
This is not, I mean, see, look at that. I'm like, literally, there we go. So, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I couldn't get this shot off in time, and I'm gonna die. Okay, so I do have my super. I just gotta get close enough to deploy it. Um, the problem is Brock and Piper are just gonna wreck it, like, instantly. Uh, if they're any good, and I assume they are, but let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So, let's, come on, Piper. She did get me, okay, so, hey, Bang Bang, I like the name, bro, I like the name. All right, I'm just gonna throw this out there, even though it's, it's whatever. So I'm gonna throw this in the, uh, the bush. So, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what's insane? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, look at that turret. Holy cow, bro. That gave us the lead, too. That gave us the lead. Come on, bull. Ah, oh, bro. You're you're huge. Look at all your health, bro. You're right in range of that Piper. Go get her. Okay, so I'm going to try to get in close to get my super up once again. I mean, have to I have to have that super. Come on. This is brutal. This is literally like suicide. These guys just go back to their spawn and just pick me apart. I can't do anything on this map. So, know your maps, guys. All I want to see is Jessie and what her capabilities are. And I think we have a pretty good idea that her super is going to be flat out freaking amazing. Um, I think that Je I'm not going to play her anymore because literally... Actually, you know what? We might be able to play her on... Uh, we might be able to play her here on, what's the, is it Heist that's up right now? Yeah, let's play Heist. Okay, this is this is gonna be a little bit better because I actually have a wall to hide behind. You kinda need that with Jessie since she's not a long range character. She's fairly mid to short range, um, but locked down. And hopefully, maybe we get some defense here, um, maybe even offense and we can drop the turret on the safe. So that's that should be interesting. The safes, remember guys, from the balance changes a couple of days ago or five days ago, they now have less hit points across the board. So it should be a little bit easier on offense and a little bit harder on defense here to hopefully balance things out. So I'm gonna play Jesse one more time and then I'm gonna play Shelly. You know we're gonna play Shelly. We gotta go We gotta go test her out and see how things look. Um, again, we'll probably have to play Heist because both of the bounty modes literally have no cover, like at all. So that's kind of weird, but whatever. So this one is uh, okay for Jesse. Not great, but... Yeah, Colt definitely is way stronger, guys. Did you see those bullets? You can't dodge like you could before, so that's going to take some getting used to for sure. Um, it looks like... Uh... Let's see here. Come on, Colt. Come on, bro. He literally shot him zero times when he was running up. That was funny. Okay, so here we are. We're in. How is he still alive? Like, good God, bro. Is he not going to... Man, that is something else. That Colt literally, I don't know what he was doing, but he, he didn't, like, literally shoot the Primo one time. I, I went two rounds with him, came back and, and finished him off. But here here's El Primo. You know he's going to, uh... So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop this in here. And... Boom, get them both. Nice, nice, Colt. You can do it. You can do it, Carlos Gamer. Okay, so Barley is a lot faster, I will say. Look at the, uh... Here we go. Yeah, look at, he did, uh, that thing did half the, half the health bar, Primo. And I threw it crappily, like, I, I really just want to see kind of it get used. Look at that thing. Look at it. Look at it. Dude, it's so good. Scrappy is so good now. So good. Like, I can't even express that enough. Okay, so here is... We're going to just drop in... These guys have no prayer of getting to the save. I may be speaking too soon here. I may be jinxing it, but oh my god. Look at that. Scrappy's a beast. Scrappy is seriously a beast. Man, so they ha they they did get it to 34%. I actually shouldn't have died there. That was probably right off the bat um, when they got in there. 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I think. I think. I think we held it. Oh my god, that was lucky. We barely held it. We barely held it. So, uh. Oh my god, that's a really good team, too. Ha! Playing with randoms, beating the good teams. Alright, cool. So, Jesse's super. Good lord, it is good. Like. Man, I could see playing with a team, that is going to be devastating. So, all right, let's play Shelly. Um, we we got to do it, guys. We got to do it. There's a lot of characters. I want to do multiple guides on multiple characters. I'm so glad that I didn't put all of them out yet uh, because they, everything's changed so much. There's different, like it's a different meta. There's different stuff that's good, different team comps. So I'm going to go over a lot of that stuff on the channel here in the near future. I really hope... Uh, there's some sort of cool announcement that comes out of uh, tomorrow's meeting. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know what to expect, guys. So really, really kind of curious to see what happens. Just realize we're on offense because I'm a noob. Um, but, you know. So here is Shelly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So that sucks. I'm dead. Um, Shelly's... Okay, so the first thing I notice is she fires a lot slower. Like, it's nowhere near what it was before even though it's only a quarter of a second different it's, it feels like a lot so first on first and foremost not able to kind of do like right now like that would have I would have just rushed in and made like pretty massive impact there and just couldn't couldn't really do it so almost have my first super generated which is which is awful um, honestly a little distracted here honestly but um, just kind of getting a feel for Shelly and let's see the spread on those. Yeah, those pallets do spread a little bit more. Um, yeah, that range. Did you see that range? That was way, way, way shorter. Oh, man. Okay, so my range, uh, I literally just went to engage with, uh, with Bull. And that was just a straight-up fail. Hmm... So I'm trying to pop a hole. Do we have a cold or what do we have? We have a barley and a bull. Like our bull is just chilling. Like he's sitting on his super right now. Um, he needs to get to the safe like ASAP. There he goes. That's a good lad. Oh my God. Shelly fires so slow now, dude. I, I don't even, I don't even know if she's good anymore. Like. I don't even know if she's good anymore. Like, I would be not shocked at all if on Showdown, um, I heard rumors of this already, is that Showdown, there is no, there's no Shellys on Showdown anymore. Um, oh, thank you, Bull. Are you serious right now? Why did he do that? Why did he do that? That Bull robs, bro. Thank you for the win. You just threw the match for your team. What? Thank you, man. All right, guys. We got maybe one more match in us right now. I want to look at uh, some other characters as well. Another one that I'm kind of curious about. Let's go look at... Uh, hmm. Bo was one that I wanted to see. I wanted to see Barley and Dynamite very badly. I'm going to look at Crow, though, right now. The reason for this is because of the maps. Like, the, the maps are so open. So, like, not, you know... Not super advantageous. This one you might be able to get away with a Barley or a Dynamite. Um, but Crow, guys. Crow. Let's see here how hard Crow hits. Look at this. He's going head to head with a Shelly. Wow, dude. That that didn't used to be a thing. Did not used to be a thing at all. Look at that. Yeah, dude. Crow is in a much better spot than he used to be, guys. Crow is in a much better spot than he used to be. Okay, so definitely hits a lot harder than he used to. Um, let's test his super here in just a moment. I'm going to try to save my homie here. You know that they're trying to kill him. Oh, bummer. He died. Oh, what's up, Brock? What's up, Brock? Oh, see ya. Nice. That actually worked out pretty good. Um, we got Brock killed. Hit a lot harder on the on the entry there. It looks like uh, there's this there's this scrappy turret man. That thing is mean as heck now. Shelly, do you uh, really? My teammates, guys, that you get in randoms. I swear, 
She just runs up to the turret, stands there, doesn't fire a single shot, and then dies. Like, what are you doing, bro? Okay, so Shelly coming at me. She knows what's up. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to get a couple shots here on Brock. Man, I don't know if I am or not. There, there we go. Boom. Boom. Look at them all go down, man. Look at them all go down. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Holy cow, I just realized we're playing freaking Bounty of all things. So, I'm trying to get that Jesse weak to where my team will go finish her. I don't think that's going to happen. We're, we're trying to protect our one stars and whatnot, and leaving them with six stars to heal up. It's cool. I'm not going to let that happen, though, guys. I'm not going to let that happen. So we now have the lead. Crow is... Ah, oh, he's in a much better spot. I am happy about this. Whee! Okay. So, Crow, much, much better off than he used to be. Shelly got the nerf bat pretty freaking hard. Not going to lie. And Jesse, while still in one-on-one -on -one situations, she seems a little soft. Um, her control, and if you're playing with a team, that turret is a beast. Absolute monster. So, that's going to be really interesting moving forward. Can't wait to look at more of these characters. I'm sorry we didn't have time to get all of them in in the video. Um, but I will be back with more Brawl Stars action here in the very near future. Excited to see what's different, what's changed. Let me know in the comments as well what your favorite changes are of these New Balance updates. Personally, guys, I am very pleased with them. I think all of them hit the nail on the head. Not a single one that I disagree with. And in addition to that, I'm thrilled that the development team is not only listening to the feedback, they put it out five days later. So mad, mad props uh, to the development team. It would be so awesome to see all games, you know, move at that pace with feedback and decisions and whatnot. Really, really cool stuff, guys. That's all I got, though, for this episode from the hotel room. I'm signing out. Gonna have a great day tomorrow. I will see you guys later. Peace out. This is Power Bang. Catch you next time.